Time now for your JCTV Daily News Update with the latest in news. She said the virus moves in waves and expects another upward trend in the spring. Covering your local weather. The sun will come out a little on Sunday uh, to warm up to about a high of 30. And the latest in Jimmy Athletics. Looks pretty good. Farkas for three right corner. Got it. For your JCTV Daily News Update, here's Richard Schmidt. Good evening and welcome to your Wednesday News Update. In campus news, the election polls open today for student senate class representatives and the Board of Student Media. Nominations and voting occurs uh, for both every spring. There are six senate positions open in each class and three positions open on the Board of Student Media. A list of nominees was emailed to students yesterday. Students can vote by ballot outside the cafeteria or by emailing elections at jc.edu. Voting ends Friday at 5 p.m. The Jamestown community lost a legend in Raleigh Greeno last week. I never met him personally, but his former athletes and friends helped me understand the traditions that he's put into place at Jamestown College. The legendary North Dakota era faded April 6, when Raleigh Greeno died. He started and finished his collegiate teaching and coaching career at Jamestown College. Most of these schools, they only had two or three football coaches, athletic directors for like 50 years, 60 years, you know, and uh, so those guys were legendary people. Greeno's precedence with his players and at Jamestown College will never fade. Lori Paulson played football for Greeno. I, I never forgot the lessons that he, he taught us and what it means, means to be a Jamestown College Jimmy. And, and hopefully we're doing those same kinds of things with, with our students today. Greeno's track, cross country, and football teams earned 83 conference championships throughout his 37 years coaching. To most, he'll be remembered for those numbers, but Paulson said his players will remember the lessons he taught them. He was going to help us grow up to be men, and uh, that, that's the message he got across to us, but it's also the message that he got across to my parents. And uh, he, he told us every week that we needed to be good citizens, that, that we needed to have good attitudes, that we needed to go to class and, and get our degrees. Those are the lessons that we took with us for the rest of our lives. And, and those are the things that ultimately proved to be the most important things that he could teach. Greeno gave an education opportunity to many men that wouldn't have gone to college otherwise. Most of those students took advantage of that opportunity. They, they made the most of it. None of us wanted to let him down. Uh, that was a huge part of, of who we were uh, because it was a huge part of who he was. Etzold attended Dickinson State and played football against the Jimmies when Greeno was in his prime. Etzold said Greeno wasn't cocky about his fierce teams. The first time we came here and got off the bus and walked into that locker room next door, he held the door open and he talked to every single guy on our team coming off the bus. He knew everyone, he knew all of our names, knew where we were from, had something to say to everybody. I used to tease guys that became friends of mine that played at Jamestown College about, I thought, it seemed to me he treated us better than he did them sometimes. Jamestown College reconstructed its track and football stadium in 1999 as Greeno's career was coming to an end. Etzold was the college's athletic director at the time and said the college wanted to commend Greeno for his work by naming the field after him. He was tremendously honored and humbled, but at the same time, you know, he'd always have some, he'd disguise it with some smart aleck remark about, you know, uh, that. It's funny they would name a football stadium after him after they fired him, you know, or, you know, I mean, that's just Raleigh. If you ever met him, you wouldn't forget it. You know, that's the kind of guy he is. You know, most of us are, unfortunately, are pretty forgettable characters. Raleigh Greeno was not forgettable. Not perfect, but certainly not forgettable. In weather, we never received any predicted precipitation. But high wind gusts near 20 miles per hour continue today and will be with us up until Thursday evening. We'll take a look at our next five days now. The skies will remain partly cloudy or sunny for the most part, with highs in the 60s and lows near 40. Our next chance for showers and thunderstorms is Monday. We'll take a closer look at that system Friday as it gets closer. In Jimmy Athletics, the baseball team was in Valley City earlier today, defending their 22-6 record against their conference rivals. We'll have more for you on that game tomorrow. Uh, softball will host two home games against Mayville State tomorrow, starting at 3 p.m. So go check them out before they start their next road series. 
Thanks for tuning in to your Wednesday evening news update. I'm Richard Schmidt, connecting the campus with the community. Enjoy yourself, Jamestown.